So what what is uh, what is activated opinion? Um, activated opinion is going from inertia uh, to voice to action. And typically, if you if you monitor what's going on in terms of public opinion through things like like surveys, you'll never know when activated opinion is likely to happen. So. It could be uh, Buddhists protesting in Myanmar. It could be uh, undocumented immigrants in the streets of the United States. It could be Tahrir Square. This is sort of going from states of quiescence to an articulation of what it is that people want. And it can really have a catalytic effect in terms of shaping public discussion on social problems that seem really impractical. So, this is a framework that um, is in uh, work that um, Sheena and I have done and Gabby has done as well. i really trying to um, map out what the accountability link is between citizens and the state. So from the citizens' side, you know, citizens in a world where there's robust uh, and activated public opinion make demands of government to do the things that they're supposed to do. And that really legitimates different governments. And the states, in turn, are supposed to do what you know, good governments warrants that they do. So they, they set rules, regulations, goods and services that, when they're working, make social problems better and make human conditions better. And that's sort of the accountability link, right? For a lot of problems, the, this part, the activation of citizens, is missing, right? And instead, it's either politicians and elected officials uh, elected offices or bureaucrats working for different agencies that are trying to advocate on behalf of, of citizens. So the missing accountability link you can think of as something like this. On the top end here, how do you go in, in terms of moving a body of people from being uninformed, inert, and inefficacious to being informed, activated, and empowered? 